Welcome back everyone. So uh, I'm Charlie if you're new to the channel and um, we are going through this series of uh, uh, demystifying mediumship, making it easy for you and because of this we're, we've, I've created a post on uh, my Facebook page, Medium Charlie Kelly, um, and I'm allowing you to ask your questions on how to make mediumship much easier for you or the problems that you have seen uh, out there or within your own mediumship. Uh, and it's an opportunity to have a personalised video in that sense because I need the backlog uh, because of my diary. So, um, and this is just another video in that series. Uh, and a few people have asked a few questions now, so they're getting into the swing of it. So thank you very much for everybody that is taking part. Um, but we're just going to crack on and, and get on with today's question, which is from Tony. Uh, again, I'll place it here somewhere for you so you can... Uh, read along or see it for yourself and know that I'm not making it up. Um, but Tony says, what to do when you feel the field of mediumship and psychic work is already so saturated? How do you find your place? Um, and that, that is a, a great question. I'm not sure I can keep this one short, but um, it is a great question. So it, for, for us in the UK, um, it is completely saturated, completely, every every angle. Uh, and I assume uh, Tony from the US there uh, has also experienced the saturation over there in the US. It's got to the point now in saturation here um, and the US, I imagine, where people are now trying to find their place because it's so saturated that they now give it a new spin. You know, and what I mean is that there's always been that part of um, healing. Let's take healing for an example. Um, and then you'll have uh, trance healing, then you'll have spiritual healing, then you'll have crystal healing, then you'll have whatever other healing, colour therapy and sound therapy and all of these things are under the banner of healing, it's to give you healing but they need to find their niche uh, and so they put their own spin on it. Now then ones that I've just listed are all very real and um, so there'll be some very good practitioners out there of that said um, uh, angle that I've just come at. What I don't like is when they give it a new spin, but the spin is just a play on words and there is nothing uh, in addition there. It, it's just basically spiritual healing, colour therapy, whatever it'll be. But they've put their own word into it. Now that is exactly the same within mediumship. Uh, no matter what you do, um, mediumship is mediumship, communication is communication. Um, so to find your place, you have to be a little bit out there. A lot of people will go down the self-publicity route, uh, you know, like the US's most accurate medium or the UK's best evidential medium uh, and whatever, the, the titles that come with it. Um, and this is, this is the people that do it themselves. They promote that themselves. And what it does is it, it pricks the ears up of the viewer or the, uh, the audience or the potential audience uh, to go and check this out because they've used a particular set of words. And so, um, again, they're just trying to find their place and some people are in it just to be famous and they love the attention and they love the stage and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and other people are in it for the spirit world, you know, doing it for the communication, to educate uh, a, an audience that there is more and the philosophy and all that stuff. So it completely depends on which angle you are coming from, on what, what and how you are going to stand out within said community. So Tony, if uh, if there's any kind of help there, I I never knew my my area, my zone, my my you know what bit is mine. I don't I don't know, and it is heavily heavily saturated here. So what happened was I just kept doing what I was doing. You know, I I I focus on evidence. I like to uh, only do spirit communication. Um, and that's not to say I can't do inspirational writing or inspirational speaking or uh, physical um, uh, mediumship. Uh, it's not to say that I can't do any of those. Uh, I've looked at them and I've done a, a bit of, of each of them. My focus has been um, to reach as many minds as I can uh, uh, through the evidence of their loved one, through the communicator. And slowly but surely, you know, as the years have ticked on, um, I've kind of worked my way through the pack uh, and I've, I've got like the tiniest slice 
that you can have of a pie. Um, like, so I'm like, I've got a little bit of crust with my, with my name on it. And um, this is just through the, the work that I've put in, the legwork as I call it, uh, the travelling, the, 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 the 200 dems a year, the sit-ins, the teachings. And eventually people get fed up and maybe you're one of those people, but I'm certain um, people get fed up with paying hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars uh, for, for a poor sitting or for a poor workshop or for a poor residential classroom or for, for, for whatever, you know, for bad products that the said person is, is selling. Uh, and people are just getting fed up with it. And I think this is where my area is kind of getting a little bit of light on it now because I got fed up with it and I speak very freely about it. Um, as always, it's my opinion and my, my angle, my belief. Uh, and because of that, um, I find alternative routes. I find different ways of doing things and I offer it to YouTube, I offer it to Facebook. Um, and again, uh, it captures the attention of people because they are fed up with the, the put on voices or the, uh, uh, the, the, the personality, the persona that someone is wearing and it come across very fake. They're fed up with it. And so because they're fed up with it, that fits perfectly well for someone like me that um, just jumps on a camera and talks, says it as it is, maybe says it the way that you think it. Uh, and because of that, people get talking. So let's take Tony for the example. And Tony may have told 20, 30, 40, 50 people about this guy, Charlie. And now I have this area. So I have captured another 50 people. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't focus, unless you're heavily into PR and you want to be famous for your work and it's all about your name in lights and making lots of money and being the next fill in the blank, um, then you're going to have to invest. You're going to have to invest in advertising and putting yourself absolutely everywhere for it. I, I, I want it to be organic. Um, and I want it to be people want to come and see because they've heard this or they know that. Um, and so it's very much organic. So it's not the easiest route in the world, but I feel comfortable with that route. Um, and, uh, and so my advice is always to go down that route because it is tough, but you learn a lot from doing it. Um, and eventually you will find your place, you know, in, in what you want to do. What I would do is find the area that you want to focus on the most. You know, spirituality is a huge umbrella. Um, and so you can only imagine the video would be 40, 50 minutes long if I just talk about the, the branches that come off from this umbrella. Um, so is it the healing you want to do? Is it the entrancement or channeling for the US people? Um, is it spirit communication? Is it tarot? Is it psychic work? Is it energy work, what, whatever niche that you want to find yourself going to uh, or you enjoy the most or you are most fulfilled from and you feel that you are helping so many people in doing, I would focus on that one area. The mistake a lot of us do um, is that we try and do it all. We try and do it all at once and it's, that's where that addictive quality comes from. So I think your clientele will find your space in a saturated market. If you're good enough, you know, they will start talking and they will start recommending a friend and then it'll be friends of friends and friends of friends of friends and then the strangers and it just goes from there. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. It's a great question. It's gave me something to think about, but um, I, would just, I would just focus on you you know, focus on the quality of your work. Is it, is it improving? Do you see the improvement? Um, and if you can see the improvement and you know that it's improving, then, then your, your following um, will, will, will start to follow. They, they will monitor what you're doing. They will buy a ticket. They will book a reading. They will book a class. Um, and from there, it will grow slowly, but it will grow. So I'm going to wrap that one up there. I hope you got something from it, Tony. And like everybody else that is watching the video, I hope you get something from it. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Obviously get in the comments because that helps the channel. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you aren't already. And hit that tiny little bell on the side to be notified of my next video. But for now, I'm going to go. Until the next one.
Bye for now.